Shavu Tov everyone. Welcome to Tillis Tell Stories for Saturday Night. The title of this week's video is Off to a Good Start. I adopted the story from the translation by Yosef Kohn in the book Days of Chabad. Uh, Rebetzin Sterner Sarah Schneerson, the daughter of Rabbi Yosef Yitzhak of Avrich, a son of, who was the son of the Semek Tzedek, the third Lubavitcher Rebbe, was born in 1860. Uh, the Rebbe uh, Sterner Sarah was born in 1860. At 15, she became the wife of the 5th Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Sholem Dovber Schneerson. In the late 1920s, she related the following account of propitious events in the year 5640, that is, 1880, uh, uh, nearly 50 years after they happened. She passed away on the 13th day of the Jewish month of Shvat in 1942. Uh, this is what she told, first person. We had been married for four years and six weeks, and I was still childless. I was very young then, only 19, and far from home, which made it even harder to bear. That year, on Simchus Torah, when Kiddush was being made in the house of my father-in-law, the Rabbi Marash, uh, the fourth Lubavitcher Rabbi, a blessing was said for all the women, young and old, of the family. For some reason, I was passed over and was not blessed. Naturally enough, this pained me, even though later on the omission was made good and I too received his blessing. Nevertheless, the pain of it remained with me. I returned to my room and got to brooding over the fact that I was still childless and how lonely I was and the incident with the blessing, and I burst into tears. <clears throat> While I was crying, I fell into a slumber, and I had a dream. I saw a man of noble countenance entering into my room. He turned toward me and asked, My daughter, why are you crying? And I bared my heart to him. He replied, Do not cry, my daughter. I promise you that within the year you will have a son. Fulfill this one condition. After the festival, give 18 rubles to tzedakah, to charity, and let it be from your own money. So saying, he disappeared from view in my dream. Some moments later in my dream, he returned in the company of two other men, three being the minimum for a rabbinical panel of judges. He informed them of the condition that he made with me, and they nodded their approval. The three of them gave me their blessing and left the room. Several hours passed before my husband returned from the Simcha Torah dancing, looking particularly happy and pleased. He was in such high spirits that he even did a somersault on the threshold of the house. The, uh, <clears throat> I told him all about the dream that I had, and without losing a moment, he ran to his father with the news. My father-in-law called for me and asked, his, and asked me to relate the, de the dream to him in all its details including a full description of the three men I had seen. When I came to the end of my account, <clears throat> uh, my father-in-law said, the first one to visit you was my father, the Tzemek Tzedek of blessed memory, the third Lubavitcher Rebbe. The other two were the Mitla Rebbe, the second Lubavitcher Rebbe, of blessed memory, and the Alter Rebbe, the first Lubavitcher Rebbe of blessed memory. After the festival, the time came to fulfill the condition. How to come by the sum of 18 rubles out of my own personal funds? I didn't, I had, I had, that was a large sum. I had a dress which in those days was the latest in fashion, but which my father-in-law did not want me to wear. I contacted a woman of my acquaintance who was involved in charitable activities and asked her to sell the dress for me. From the money that I got for the dress, I gave 18 rubles to Tzedakah. That same year, the twelfth day of the Jewish month of Tammuz in the Jewish year 5640, that is in 1880, my son, the sixth Lubavitcher Rebbe to be, was born. We named him Yosef Yitzhak after my father of blessed memory. Uh, <clears throat> and that, of course, is the sixth Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Yosef Yitzhak Schneerson, the, uh, the sixth Rebbe from 1920 to, he served as sixth Rebbe from 1920 to 1950. And as we said just before, he was born in 1880. He established a network of Jewish educational institutions, and, 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 and that was the single most uh, factor for the preservation of Judaism during the dread reign of the communist Soviets. He had, uh, had many fiercely loyal and dedicated consider that uh, staffed these educational institutions. In 1940, he moved to the USA, established Chabad Worldwide Headquarters in Brooklyn, and launched a global campaign to renew and spread Judaism in all languages and in every corner of the world. The campaign was continued and expanded uh, so successfully uh, by his son-in-law and successor, Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson. 
Uh, Rabbi Yosef Yitzhak passed away, the Rabbi Yosef Yitzhak passed away on the 10th day of the Jewish month of Svat in, in 1950. May, may, his, may his memory be blessed and may his merits uh, protect, protect us all.